friends, top of the morning to you. Happy St. Patrick's Day. So this past week, I was working on packing some green themed shoe boxes. And you can see in the back there, I have three boxes that I packed that are almost finished. I think they need a little bit of tweaking. Today I'm gonna to unbox this one. This one is completed. This is also a green themed shoe box and it's for a girl in the age range of 10 to 14. So let's get started. I got my Irish Forever mug here with my chai tea in there. So let's see what I have packed in this box for a girl 10 to 14. I need to get some stronger 107 rubber bands. I've run out. I've already packed over 50 boxes this year, so <laughs> I've run out of rubber bands. So this, I love this box because it has a detachable lid and the lid fits on nicely. That's always a good sign to me that I haven't overstuffed my boxes is when the lid fits nice and secure without popping up. It doesn't bulge or bend. So here we go. On the inside of the lid, I just added my attempt at a handmade shamrock here, and I wrote, Jesus loves you. Okay, so she's going to find a seven foot jump rope, and it has green handles. Here's the note and photo for the child. This is just a card that I had made. I had actually made some St. Patrick's Day themed uh, cards to send to friends a few years ago and I still had one left and I had to change this though because it said happy St. Patrick's Day and I just wanted it to say happy day so I changed the bottom a little bit but there's some shamrock buttons on there and it's just a blank card I left it blank for the child to use how they wish but I wrote a note to let a little letter and included a family photo okay so this Young lady, we'll find a couple of green headbands. I put two of them in here, and she will find some real pretty hair clips and earrings. These are DeBello brand. I get these for 90 The earrings didn't come with it, but the two hair clips the uh, with the pearl gems on there, those were 99 cents. Those are a regular price at CVS. She will find a set of jacks these were christmas clearance at hobby lobby and i should have put these in an organza bag as well and i may do that before i repack here is a green whistle here is a green toothbrush with a cap here is a pair of socks that have shamrocks on them and hearts they're pink and green and they say too cute to pinch she has this really fun fidget game or puzzle game. Not a game, it's a puzzle, I guess. And you try to get all of the colors lined up in the same row by turning, by turning, and then you can turn, twist this, and then you can also move the pieces. And the instructions for this puzzle game are in the box. Okay, she has this real pretty green beaded bracelet um, with gold flowers. And she has this green silicone bracelet that says, I believe it says lucky and blessed. Got those at Hobby Lobby in a multi-pack. Oh, here's a hygiene kit. She has a bar of soap, some band-aids, uh, a mending kit that I made up, some hair ties, some hair clips, a few Q-tips, a emery board, little emery board, a nail clipper, some lip balm, and some wrist bells that are green. She has two pair of underwear. One is a size 12 and one is a size 14. She has a cross uh, on a cord, a wooden cross that I strung on a cord and added some beads, green and yellow. She has a little stuffy. This is a, a unicorn. This is, the brand is the Afro unicorn. And I love this. This little uh, unicorn even has pierced ears with earrings. Uh, this was actually 
in the clearance aisle at Hobby Lobby. It was 90% off, I believe, because it's Christmas. It was considered Christmas. It has this green ribbon around the neck that looks like snowflakes, but it has this green and gold crown on with the uh, green looking jewels, and I think it's perfect for this box. I put in three of these hacky sack balls that I got a while back at Hobby Lobby. I put in three because I thought she might have some fun learning to juggle. She has a green dual pencil sharpener. She has, of course, some green, gold, and white beads. And these will look really cute with her shirt that I have in here. Okay, she has this little set. St. Patrick's Day themed little wood pieces with different designs. Shamrock, four leaf clover, a horseshoe, a leprechaun's hat. And I wrote on the back, choose five of two different designs to play tic-tac-toe. And then I also wrote, these pieces can be colored or painted. So I thought she would have some fun just decorating them or she could play tic-tac-toe. I think I should include the instructions for tic-tac-toe in here. If I remember to print those out, I will add those when I repack. She has a pencil pack here, which is green. Well, I think this is a nice, well-stocked school supplies pouch. She has a green clip bow. So girls in this age, I don't know, may or, they may or may not um, still like to wear bows in their hair, right? But um, if she does, I mean, she could really clip this to anything, but if she has uh, longer hair and would like a, uh, a bow in her hair, she could just clip this in her hair or she could clip it onto one of her headbands. Okay, here's her shirt. I got this on clearance last year after St. Patrick's Day at Walmart. It was a dollar. Uh, it is a St. Patrick's Day themed unicorn. It's very cute. It's got some gold and a few shades of green. And it says Lucky. And I think that goes nicely with her uh, unicorn, little unicorn stuffy. She has three bounce balls. I thought maybe if she lost her ball in her jacks game, I would send some extras and their green and their bounce balls so that she can have some fun just playing with those on their own too. And this is what I consider the wow item in this box. I do have that little stuffy, but I think that this is the wow. Um, it's a large zipped pouch here and it's green. And inside I've put things so she can have a little art kit. So she has a separate little pouch in here that's gold that has some markers in it. These are Createology. I got those for a really great deal on Michael's, basically free because I had a $5 rewards. And then she has a set of colored pencils for her art kit. She has a small set of crayons that I recently got at Hobby Lobby on clearance. She has this really fun pen. This is a fidget pen and you, you pull the links out and then it bends. Isn't that cute? And then you push that back in and then it stays straight. And I added a little green and blue uh, dog tag to the pen. So there's the packaging that shows you how you can bend the pen. And then the real true wow here is this nice set of Artist Law watercolors. And so this set came from I believe Michael's and she has one paintbrush included in the set. Look at all those different colors. I just love that. Uh, but I included some extra uh, paintbrushes. So she has a few different sizes of paintbrushes. And then this is really fun. A friend of mine gave this to me. It's a pen, an ink pen, but it looks like a paintbrush and it's got red ink. So thank you, Patty, for that adorable pen. It's perfect in this box in her little art kit here. 
just a green bag. This one came from Aerie. It's just a little tote bag, not used except for whatever, you know, we purchased at the store and brought home in, but it's in really good shape, no rips or tears. So she has a little bag to carry, perhaps her art supplies or, you know, what, whatever she would like to carry. She has a few stickers. These have shamrocks, four leaf clovers. They are St. Patrick's Day themed stickers. And then she has this little set of stickers. I got these, I believe, from the Hobby Lobby. They're EK Success. I don't know if these were Hobby Lobby or Michael's, but they're Jolie's Boutique. It might have even been Joanne's. And they're Irish themed. Love those. Okay, she has a really nice sketch pad or marker pad so it's got real nice thick white paper she can use this for painting or with her markers and it's heavyweight and bleed resistant and acid free and it's petting gear so i got that from walmart she has this green comb from dollar tree she you know this will work on short hair or if she happens to have real tight curls they could, it works like as a pick and so I love these combs for boys and girls. She has a green washcloth. She has some more Jolie's Boutique stickers. I believe these were given to me by a crafting friend. These have turtles on them, aren't they, darling? Then she has a green notebook. And it's nice and thick. It's a five star, so it's really good quality. Here's the box for her slide puzzle. See, with instructions, it shows her how to do it. I believe I got that slide puzzle at Party City. She has a gold coloring book, a creative coloring. It has a beautiful image of a sea turtle on there, but it has all kinds of different images inside to co color. Look at those pinwheels, aren't they adorable? This is one that I would love to color in. And she has a Let's Draw Dogs and Cats. So I thought maybe she could learn to draw the beautiful dogs and cats and then she in her sketch pad and then she could practice here first and then she could draw them in her sketch pad and then color them or paint them. That's it. That's my box. That's my green themed St. Patrick's Day themed shoe box that I packed for a girl 10 to 14. Oh, I, I was just going to say I put some decorative duct tape around the box. I recently got some really fun duct tape that was 50% off at Hobby Lobby. Okay, so I'll give you a quick showing of what I packed here in this box 